Oh my god, guys, we have so much stuff to talk about. A buff to Funny, the October Starlight membership skin, which is for Aurora, and a lot more stuff. So if you want to see that, then stay tuned on this video. Hello there guys and welcome to this video, so uh, yeah, a new patch was released on the advanced server and this patch brings a lot of freaking updates guys, like crazy much updates, both buffs and nerfs to different heroes, some skins and some other stuff, so we're gonna go through everything and I'm gonna start off with the most exciting things, so uh, if we go into the hero tab here on mages we can see a skin for death, the black swan skin, looks um... Uh, I don't know, it look, looks pretty nice, I guess. Looks sort of like her normal skin, but just a recolor. Kinda cool, kinda cool. It's gonna cost 269 diamonds, as you can see here. And uh, yeah, if you want that skin, then go ahead and buy it. We then have some really nifty updates here, or some patch notes. And I'm, I'm gonna go through the best things first, so you know what... Like, so you get to see what you want to see. And then I'm gonna go through more of the boring stuff, so... First up... Do that skin, 269 diamonds for that, and her and her skin will be sold together as a gift pack, 30% off the first week, as normal. We then have something really special here. The next Starlight membership skin will be a Aurora skin, Heartbreaker Empress. Really, really cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing some pictures of that skin. It's gonna be amazing. Then we have this thing, this is uh, something that a lot of people have been going on about. Fanny got a nerf a few patches ago, like the last patch I think it was, where her energy restoration went down. Well, it's been increased now to more than it was before, so uh, she's getting a huge nerf from uh, 3 points of energy restoration to 7 points. Which is pretty much, so yeah, the Prey March will now restore 7 points of energy instead of 3. Very, very good for Fanny players, very bad for everyone else, since everyone else will be completely wrecked by her. We then have a Harley nerf here. The duration of slow effect is now 1.5 seconds instead of 3 seconds, and the final damage conversion rate is now 40%, which has been reduced from 50%. And that's on Deadly Magic. We then have some changes to Space Escape as well, and basically what will happen is the cooldown on his second scale will start once he gets back to the hat, not once he like throws it out initially. So Harley is getting quite a bit nerfed there as well. They've finally fixed the skill description on Argus. If you didn't know it already, with Argus you regain HP when he hits you, not when you hit him, which has been... I mean, I thought it was like that as well, since the text said so. But uh, yeah, they've sh fixed it now. They've uh, changed some uh, some kind of bug with his second, or the Eternal Evil one. I didn't even know there was a bug on that one. Which, uh, Eternal Evil is his ult, not his second one. Uh -huh. And then on Meteoric Sword, they've changed it so that only Argus movement speed will in be increased by the Blood Trail. Which, uh, sounds good. Vexan is getting a buff as well. Mana cost at all levels reduced by 100, so you're gonna be able to use more abilities and don't think about your mana as much. Some ruby changes, total damage at all levels increased by 50 points, the shockwave can now slow down enemies for 2 seconds, and mana cost is now 40 points at all levels. So that's a buff right there. Grok has some changes, improves the hit feel for Grok's base attack and the power of nature. I don't really know what they mean by hit feel, but yeah, they've improved it. Anyways, I don't know. Ancestral Gift. The effect now is every time Grok is near a wall or a turret, his movement speed increases by 10%. His physical and magic resistance and HP regen increase by 23 to 135 points. This effect increases with level. And it used to be every time Grok is near a wall or a turret, his movement speed increases by 10%. And his physical and magical resistances increase by 260 to 180. So. A small nerf there to uh, to Brock, which I mean his ult was pretty insane. Layla improves her skills visual effects to provide a better experience for players, so I guess it's gonna be more visible on who you're targeting or something. Akai, Hurricane Dance. The bug that it's actually the bug that is actually effect doesn't match the description. Now when the skill is released, all debuffs on Akai will be removed and 
it will make him immune to slow effects, which, yeah, which is pretty nice. And then we have Kagura, Jin Yang Overturn. The scale effect without the umbrella is now, without umbrella, using the scale will deal 330 to 390 plus 1 times AP, points of magic damage to surrounding enemies, and link them to the umbrella. Their movement speed drops when the link exists. Meantime, using this skill will also reset the cooldown for Seime Umbrella Open. If the enemy hero is still linked to the umbrella after 3 seconds, they will make a 450 to 650 times plus 1.8 times attack power points of magic damage and be pulled to the position of the umbrella. Jin Gang Overturn. When Kagura has the umbrella on hands, her initial damage will now be 250 to 350, increased from 250 to 290. And attack power bonus is now 1.2 increased from 1, so she's getting a buff as well. A lot of heroes are getting a buff, which is pretty nice. We have some changes to battle gear and battle spells. Oh, well, gear items, battle gear, same, same thing. Attack growth of cannons and super cannons increased by 80%, which will mean that the minion cannon will be stronger than before. The Assassin buff has an additional effect where mana cost of all skills is reduced by 50%, making the Assassin buff actually, like, viable now. Which is really nice. Killing the Ghost Mage, Giant Moan... Killing the Ghost Mage, Giant Mouth Monster, Goblin or Spinner will now provide a buff that lasts for 2 seconds, restoring a small amount of HP and mana. Really, really nice. And they've also changed the respawn mechanics of Lord and Turtle. Turtle will now spawn twice during a single match. His cooldown is 120 seconds. And if the first turtle kill is before the fourth minute, the next monster that will spawn will be another turtle, otherwise the next monster will be a lord. And at the sixth minute of the game, if turtle is still alive, he will be replaced by lord. So uh, yeah, some gear item changes. Athena's shield, now the damage absorbing amount of the shield provided by the unique passive is no longer higher than it should be. And immortality, the visual effect is optimized, so it's gonna be easier to see if anyone has immortality. I think it's really easy to see if anyone has immortality, but yeah, sure. They've changed some really cool stuff here with the aiming mode. The lock on range of basic attacks is increased in the free mode with last hit attack function on. That's word. The reason why we did this change is that according to a lot of players' feedback, heroes, especially melee heroes, often suddenly switch to target to nearby enemies, to nearby minions or jungle monsters when chasing enemies. Which results in that they miss the chance to reef the enemy, hence we increase the lock on sustain range in 3M mode. After the change players who use this mode will rely on the last hit button more heavily to attack minions and turrets during laning stage. We have fixed the problem where in hero lock mode players cannot switch targets successfully while a basic attack is in progress, and also fix the bug where some visual effects of the recall spell sometimes would display in wrong place, and the bug on some heroes that they would stop recalling occasionally. So that's nice. Some information about Season 5, so... Yeah, the fifth season of ranked game is about to end, we've noticed that only having legend rank is unable to, dis to distinguish the pro players from the not so pro players, and they've therefore decided to put in the Mythic rank, which most of you probably already knew. And apparently they're gonna have they're gonna have Glorious Mythic, which it, it just sounds stupid, honestly. They should have stuck with Legend, Glorious Legend, and then Mythic. But I don't know. Guess it would have been too much. They should just Glorious Mythic is just weird, okay? But uh, yeah, so Legend is now gonna be a normal rank. You're gonna have to get stars to rank from legend 5 to legend 1 and then get to mythic and then mythic will be just as legend is now so i don't really know how that will help in any way but yeah that's what i did the season 5 skin is confirmed it's the hilda flower of the waste skin so those who said it's not that skin well rip you because it is season 5 to season rank division inherits the rules as follows so yeah, you can pause the video here to see which rank you will be when uh, when this is over. There's quite a lot of stuff here. New high frame rate mode. This is interesting. So, 
Turn on this mode, you can experience more fluent animations and see more delicate details on the battleground scenes. However, this function demands more resources of your phone to run, which may cause higher battery consumption and make your device hot. This function is off by default, but you can choose to turn it on or off according to your own phone's capabilities. This mode currently only applies to parts of high-end Android devices and 6s and I above iPhone devices. As for the devices that the mode does not support, the switch off this mode won't show up in the settings and the high frame rate mode is still in the grayscale test. If you have any problems or any doubts, please contact our customer service. Thanks. Add in a new avatar switch button on the match result table, which allows players to check players' avatars. If you see someone like you like, don't hesitate to add them. Added the battery status feature in game, which allows you to see your phone's battery more easily. Uh, pretty nice. Draft mode, hero selection optimized. Now the hero model will use skin. That's really cool. So you can see if people have skins, which people like to show a lot. The live stream added a shop button on the stream interface. Players can quickly buy the hero and the skin that the streamer is using and heroes and skins already owned will not display on the list. Hero leader optimized. The list will now show the best player's hero power. Meantime, players can now select hero types to check more easily. And also optimize the patch notes display in the mail. A lot of bug fixes as well. You can read those here. I My throat is... or well, my mouth is dying. I can't really read this. But yeah, you can read this here if you want to. And uh, that's basically it for these patch notes, guys. What do you think about this? Are you excited for this? I sure am. But um, yeah, tell me in the comments below what you think. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.